everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm here to talk about the November market report. Again, this is existing homes only, not new construction. So what we're seeing guys, across the board, prices are up from where they were in October. So in November, so we had, so our units were down about 4% from 795 total units sold in October to 762 in November, not a big deal. Um, but here's where it gets pretty uh, pretty interesting. The overall price point in Omaha for existing homes went from 346 and some change to over $364,000. That's up 5%, okay? There's some factors that play into that. Um, rates have dropped. So rates were bouncing back and forth last week, you know, under seven, I think one point, like one day they hit six and three quarters. Um, and then the, then the weather, the weather's been great. So, um, you know, that helps keep people out there. Um, so again, guys, Omaha, across the board, existing construction, existing homes, up 5% from October to November. That's, that's big, right, if you're a seller. And it's also big if you're a buyer, because honestly, guys, it's, it, the market's not dropping out, right? Like, the market is not crashing. Don't let anybody tell you that well, if they tell you, just don't believe them because the stats don't lie, right? As long as rates kind of stabilize, and again, you guys, pre-COVID, six and a half, seven percent. Honestly, these are normal rates. So the overall market is normalizing. Okay, so that's the overall market. Then I like to talk about the first-time homebuyer price point um, first. So that's zero to three hundred thousand. So what we saw there was we still saw the price point move up, it went from 217 to almost 220, so up about 1.2%. Not a big movement, but also not a huge price point. Um, but again, the positive note there is that the prices are still up, okay? Um, then our move up price point is three to 650. Now we saw um, 349 units in October, 336 units in November, down 3.7%. Not a huge deal. Um, again, pretty normal. Um, and this is a price point that's been kind of soft uh, when we've seen, you know, houses that maybe need some work, uh, whether it's carpet or it's dated kitchens or dated flooring or whatever the case may be. Um, my last couple of reports, this segment of pricing has actually been down, but jumped 3%, went from 409 to over 421. So. Um, that's all really positive uh, news, guys. Again, don't take this, you know, these stats lightly. If you're a seller, this is great news. And if you're a buyer, again, back because, because of the interest rates normalizing, prices are still moving. So if you want to start building equity, you got to buy yesterday. Okay, so that's our move up. Then we got our, our luxury, that's 650 and above. Okay, so we had some bigger ones here. So uh, we went from an average sale price in October of six uh, of 964 basically um, jumped 3.7 percent in November to just under a million nine hundred ninety nine thousand eight hundred thirty four dollars three point seven percent so again that's a big jump you know when you talk that upper end price point um, our upper end usually isn't as affected by the interest rates um, you know but we also saw we actually saw our units increase we went from 48 in October to 54 in November and normally from October to November we typically see the units down because of the holidays and things of that nature so overall guys the market is still moving it's just not crazy like what it was the last couple of years but the market is still active you know people are still you know needing to buy and sell homes for for whatever the you know the myriad of reasons are um, so if you guys have any questions about what's going on with the market what I think is going to have you know, you know, happen in the market, what um, the lenders and economists think is going to happen with interest rates, reach out to me. We'll have a, uh, you know, a, a casual conversation. Um, you know, so I hope you guys find this information useful. If so, please remember to follow me on social media and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.